the next thing I know, I uh, wake up in a bedroom. I remember looking around and realizing that I was completely naked and that I was with Sean and that he was on top of me and I, I couldn't move. He was sort of on top of me doing different things, um, touching me, and I kept trying to, to say no, to say, you know, get off of me. I remember waking up and I, I remember hearing him say, I want to have sex with you. And I finally was able to say, no, I, I don't want to. I remember him saying, I don't care. And then I blacked out again and I woke up and I was screaming. Um, he had obviously penetrated me and it was really painful. And I remember screaming and then at that point I blacked out again. What this woman has just described to you has happened to one in four college women. That's 25% of the women we care about, 25% of our sisters, our mothers, our partners have to experience a situation similar to the one you've just heard. In addition to this staggering statistic, there's also some alarming information about men. For instance, 35% of college women report at least some likelihood of committing rape, given that they would never be caught or punished. In addition to that, 84% of men who have committed acts that meet the legal definition of rape say that what they did was definitely not rape. In the past, many rape awareness efforts have focused on educating women about what not to do in order to avoid being raped. And while helping women lower their risk is very important, it doesn't address the root of the problem that there are still men out there who are choosing to rape. If we want the one in four statistic to go down, the solution must involve talking to men. One in Four is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that is dedicated to preventing rape by offering research-based educational programming. The organization, which was founded in 1998 and is exclusively funded through private donations, takes a unique approach to rape prevention by engaging male peer educators to deliver the men's program, the only rape prevention program proven through research to reduce men's likelihood of committing rape. Our programs are delivered by male peer educators who travel the country in an RV and are trained to be as relatable as possible with audiences. They approach men as potential helpers of survivors rather than as potential perpetrators. The result of our efforts is clear. Research shows that men who see our program become more empathetic toward rape survivors, and therefore they become less likely to perpetrate rape themselves. They are also engaged and empowered to know that they, too, can be part of the solution. For the work we've done, One in Four has been featured in articles in Oprah Magazine, Cosmo Girl, and the Journal of the American College Health Association. We know that our approach works. We know that we're on the right track. We can see on a daily basis the changes that we're making. We're on a tipping point, and we want to have a far bigger reach, reaching out to more colleges and universities, expanding our programming, and training more peer educators to present one in four programs on their college campuses. Our goal is that every man on every college campus will see the men's program, and that colleges and universities will report a significant reduction in rate as a result. There are so many ways that you can help to support our mission. If you know of colleges or other groups that can use our services, you can tell them about us. If you know of corporations that might be willing to sponsor us, you can help us to get into contact with them. If you have friends or family that could help with RV service and maintenance, you can help us to find out where they're located. And of course, if you happen to have a spare RV lying around, we could always use another one of those. There's always the option of going to our website, www.1in4usa.org and making a tax deductible contribution to our organization. The point is, is that if there's any way that you could possibly help us out, please shoot us an email. Because it's support from people like you that will allow us to continue our mission. One in four college women have survived a rape or attempted rape. Statistics can change. You can help.